Welcome to the latest installment of One Minute Watercolor Magic with Ryan Fox. I get asked a lot about in my in watercolor paintings how I kind of create this marbleized watercolor look. And you can zoom, I'll zoom in on this here. And this basically is all just controlled water blossoms. Now the way to create water blossoms is to take an already wet surface that has color on top of it and then you add more water on top of that color. What happens when the water hits the already wet areas, it pushes the pigment aside and can give you the really nice cauliflower or water blossom edge. Now the way that I create these marbleized watercolor effects is I'm trying to control this, this, uh, this water blossom technique and so I'm not really getting a lot of hard edges. Notice that the pear on the left is already a little bit wet. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start dropping some color into it. A little bit darker color. Let the colors blend on the paper. Uh, I'm going to go back and dry off a little bit of the areas with a, a thirsty brush here in just a second. I'm going to start working on the other pair. Put water down first. And then put the color on top of the water. Switch the colors. Don't make it perfect. Uh, just drop the colors on top. Let the, the water kind of move everything around. And then you'll see here I'm going to go back in with darker color and now I'm using a thirsty brush I'm taking off some of that color drop, dropping water back on top of it uh, continue to do it for the other pair now too and that's what creates this marble effect this combination of wet into wet dropping color on, dropping water on top of that and you will see those blossoms start to form over time you don't want to do too much uh, try to control it and you really do have a lot of time to control it especially if you're working on 300 pound paper And here's the finished pear painting with all the intentional water blossoms and the marbleized watercolor effect. That's magic. I hope you enjoyed this one minute watercolor magic today. If you'd like to see some more of my work online, visit my website at rfoxphoto.com. If you'd like to order reproductions, you can visit my Etsy shop at rfoxwatercolors.com. And thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys again, and happy painting.